Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Astral Chain. We're now investigating Zone 9 of the Ark, also known as the Exclusion Zone, since it is quarantined off from the rest of the Ark due to rampant redshift pandemics, which occurred down here. Uh, it functions as mostly a lawless slum, run primarily by a group going by the Hermits, who we're going to learn more about today. It is also the Ark's Junk District. And so where we're going to head down into to learn more about the situation is going to be uh, one of the bazaars down here. So we got, what, 16 out of 100 just by approaching the gate and the hermits letting us know that they wouldn't let us in, so we have to find an ulterior means of entrance into uh, in the further cavities of this area. And in order to find that, we have to ask around. Like, this troubled dude tells us all about how he is building an air purifier using discarded scraps found in the district. Some of them will mainly repeat themselves, some will just tell you, or give you the keyword hermits again, but you just have to keep putting a uh, uh, shoe leather to pavement. And this area is densely populated with people who will tell you some useful stuff. Like, the shopkeeper, I think, has something, and either way, we can look at the wares. Uh, oh, the liquid! This weird liquid keeps coming in. So we know that someone is working on a, an, some kind of purifier. There's some sort of liquid form drug intended to stop the redshift or stop the progression of the symptoms. And yeah, all he has is medicine. So we're not too worried about buying from him. But since I left myself with so little money last time buying that little girl ice cream, uh, I should make sure that I have some money on me for later. And here we learn another connection to this liquid that stops the red shift. It is indeed some sort of drug that's being developed or delivered here. Look at this cute little tyke. We even learn that this is the number one junk district on the whole arc. Cute, preco uh, precocious little kid. So we're two-thirds of the way to our goal. We just need to find a little bit more information to go on. We just need to find a few more leads. Now the other thing that should be noted about this area and the investigation of it is, as you have noticed, some of these keywords are just purely red herrings. We've gotten a lot more clues, quote unquote, um, than what is actually contributed towards that progress bar, meaning that they're not really relevant to the case. Sometimes, uh, eyes off my Hermitonic. This one's all mine. Of course, they didn't pay full price. Some drunk came through. Like the Hermitonic didn't contribute to anything. We still do get a slightly better understanding about the world and where to go to continue the investigation from it, but it's not hard progress. I think this walking man has something, if I remember right. Nope, he just wants to talk about the hermits and the drug and stopping the redshift. So the nice thing about this is you have a lot of different sources for the same information. There's a lot of redundancy in case you miss one NPC. So there are a lot of ways to get back to that piece of information. Can I dig this up? Looks like kind of the pile of junk that usually he can dig up. Must be a big storm on the way. That is a red highlight, something to note down, like a keyword. Except, again, it doesn't contribute to the progress bar, but this is the important bit from the older sister here. Okay. There is a I thin man we need. Let's, so who, is it who distributes this here? drug. He's an outsider to the community. Right. They showed up in the files Jenna gave us too. They've got to be connected. So what are the hermits trying to do? C 
seems that way. So far, it sounds like they're the good guys, but... What are the Hermits doing to stop corruption from spreading? Right. And those same drugs might be the ones described in Jenna's files. So what do we know about this drug? What does it look like? Right. And if you drink it, it should save you from redshift. Somehow. So how are the drugs getting in the Hermit's hands to begin with? Right. People say they've seen him meeting with the Hermits. I bet he's bringing the drugs in. Everything in Jenna's files points us towards the Hermits. And I'm a little concerned about that outsider, too. The Hermits. We've come too far not to meet with them. We'd better find a way to get into their base. So, this is actually only leaves us 83 out of 100%. We have all of the things... We have all of the leads that we need to investigate. We just don't have a means to actually pursue an investigation into them because it requires us going deeper in. It requires us to actually infiltrate the Hermit's hideout so we can learn more about all of this sketchy business that's surrounding them. Before I go too far, I really want to remember to hit up the kanji cellar. Uh, so kanji is like a savory rice oatmeal kind of dish. It also gives us the, uh, the keyword hint to eavesdrop on a couple of the, uh, a couple of the, the patrons in the bazaar. Which isn't a terrible idea. I do think they give you some kind of hint about where to go or how to progress. Uh, it's just not necessary. There are actually a couple of people that you can hit up for eavesdropping. But, again, not terribly necessary. We also, in our kanji, found an ability for our legion. Even though he says he only uses all natural ingredients. We also get this, a kanji ticket. If we get seven of those from eating a full bowl in one sitting, uh, we get a prize. What that prize is, is a mystery, but we are going to find out. Because unlike Yakuza, we do not have any limits on how much we can eat in a sitting. Oh, that's number seven. Okay, good. So we hand it in, and we get an auto collect ability that has two mods on it. Uh, this could be pretty good depending on what those mods are, because it only takes up a single slot. This is anti-slime and auto heal. One of which is okay. The auto heal I never really jive with that much. Uh, you can repeat that, by the way. I don't know if you get as good of an ability the second time around, but I know you can do it more than once. So when are we going to go to Harmony Square? The boyfriend wants to stay in Zone 9. The girlfriend has heard of this wonderful new food called hot dogs. And she really wants a hot dog. But the boyfriend is really content with this delicious, delicious kanji. Either way, that didn't help us even slightly. Let's dig this up. Oh, I'm so disappointed on the roll we got. Uh, the kanji ticket item that you get is usually randomized, but I think there is a tendency for it to... Uh, for it to spawn its modifiers with some sort of preference towards uh, status resistance or status ailments. Uh, preventative mods. So over here, there's someone getting mugged. We are gonna really, really unfairly just maul them with a, a dog they can't see. That is about six feet tall. And possessed of demonic strength just so we can protect this wealthy man they were mugging in the slums. Hmm. Okay. 
Well, do we at least get a really good reward aside from the initial one? No. We should now take it upon ourselves to continue the mugging. <laughs> However, we got paid. Wait, can I get that chest I saw from this side? Nope, we're gonna have to go back. Get out of- I hate running into people. And tables, because they explode. They can't handle my cyborg body. Either way, there's a couple good material codes. And I'm gonna hopefully avoid triggering a scene. Oh, I'm not gonna sequence break this, am I? Nope. Jeez, think they got enough goons on the lookout? Going through the front's out of the question. There's gotta be some secret passage into their base. Maybe someone back in the camp has some ideas on how we could get in. Yeah, someone like them. Wait, before we go, it might be good to eavesdrop on the guards and see if they say anything useful. That should be a cinch for your legion. I know, there's gotta be another way in. If only we could find it. Yeah, if only I was going to do that just then, before you interrupted. Yeah, right, right, that's what it was. Be on the lookout for cats. Yeah, seems like they've been sneaking in recently. Cats, huh? Well, now that you mention it, I have seen a lot of cats around the access bridge lately. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of pipes and ventilation ducts snaking around here. <sighs> Maybe that's how they got in. We might be able to sneak in through the ventilation system. I'll mark the coordinates on your map. Hopefully, this will bring us closer to figuring out what's going on. Let's get a move on. That brings us to 100 out of 100. We have what we need to be investigating further and how we're going to go about getting to it. And this was a really simple expeditious route that we took to get through all this because uh, this could take a lot longer and there are a lot of really terrible side quests in zone 9 there are a lot of them holy hell uh, so first we're going to tear the door off the ventilation shaft or the covering uh, and then we have a lot of crouch walking to do today Oh, it won't let me switch legions while I'm crouch walking, because I need to switch to beast, because there's a ton of these mounds for him to dig up. One of which is actually necessary, I think it's this one, uh, in order for us to progress. Wait, are there two next to each other? Because I think he might be... Yeah, he's digging the wrong one. Oh, what a cool little jingle. Just that success jingle. Uh, I got some medicine here. May as well finish up the last one. And some ripped pants. I am sure I will get like 50 whole dollars for those pants. That's a... Mm, I was going to say that's amazing, but this is far future, so inflation? Maybe that's terrible. Okay, our coordinates put us right at the Hermit's base. Let's find somewhere to get to. Careful, though. There's people under us. Try not to make any loud noises. This... You you would really think that they would voice this part. So there's some you-know-what and a you-know-who. He's gone like a fart in the wind. Last time I saw the boss, he kept going on about some new toy he's looking into. Reassigning some of us to help him get, uh, get to it, too. That's a boss for you, right? Honey Zaibatsu. Didn't tell us too much. It was just more... Suspenseful hinting. Is all that really was. Uh, so I think there's an item here on the right, and then progression on the left. A couple cops sneaking around like cat burglars. Hey, worth it. I hope 
hope we can get out of these ducks soon. Piloting this drone sounds like something's going on down there. Look! That guy down there is fighting a chimera! Wait, that means they can see them? Look! Here comes someone! Well, that was our latest sample of you. It changes a little person to person, but generally, one dose is enough to get them fighting fit. Great. Now our missing associates are the only problem. Any new info on that? I'm sorry, sir. I've got everyone on the lookout for info, but we've come up with nothing. <laughs> Think credit says he went through a gate then. Too easy. We won't get useful results with a weak-ass chimera like that. Still, though, this batch is legit, no doubt about that. <laughs> the days of cowering in fear are over. Soon, we can strike back. I'd like to see those central bastards do this. What do you think, boys? Feel like saving the world? Come on! Make sure our audience up there hears it. What? What are you waiting for? Get down here and let me give you a proper welcome. You uh, don't suppose he's talking to someone else, do you? Well, let's get out of here before... Hi, I'm Kyle. I'm the leader of this little, charitable organization. There we go. Now rats crawling around in the vents, that I've heard of. But cops? That's a new one. Wait, how did you know that we're... There's no union in Sector 5. No state, no real economy. The most valuable thing we've got is information. And you're looking at a very rich man. Wall or no wall, if it can be known, we hermits know it. Can't say I have a good read on you, Goldie. But your associate here's got cop written all over. Then you already know why we're here. Are you gonna talk? Now, now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm more than happy to talk, but what did my hermits think if I gave away their hard-earned intel for free? <laughs> Forget it. If it's a bribe you want, we're broke. It doesn't take an extensive intelligence network to figure that out. But I have a different proposal. My men tell me you're strong. Inhumanly strong. I'd love to see just how strong you are, up close and personal, if you catch my drift. And I'm afraid that's my final offer. Should have expected an ambush. Oh, uh, Kyle, when this is over, we get our info, correct? <laughs> See, I knew Centrals could be reasoned with. You got my word, I'll tell you anything you want. But there's one little thing you should keep in mind. You're on our turf now. The only law here is what I say. And I say kill, kill, kill! Oh my god, I love the leader of the hermits. Like, his design is the coolest. I love the hologram helmet design. It's clearly inspired by DJs like Dead Mouse, but... It's just so much cooler. 
and the not quite dreads, not quite braids thing with the hair coming out of the helmet. Looks like frayed electrical cabling. God, it's the best. Plus, you know I'm always a sucker for a good tattered cloak. We should change up closer to those two. I think this will be fine. We've really isolated them in the corner pretty well. Uh, now it's just, what, two of them left? Oh no, there's a third one still up. So we managed to keep the majority of them off screen for most of this, which means they've had very little offense. Uh, because like other Platinum games, this follows the design ethos that it would be unfair to be attacked from off screen really aggressively. It'll still happen occasionally, but it's not a super common occurrence. So one part of crowd control uh, that you learn doing Platinum's games, and something that can really, really help you out uh, if you're struggling on some of the harder difficulties like Nonstop Infinite Climax and Bayonetta, or what have you, is just managing the camera. Crowd control through camera control. Keep as many enemies as possible off screen while you aren't directly attacking them. Uh, and that will just automatically make them less aggressive towards you. It's not always foolproof, but it mostly works really well. Of course, that's a little bit easier said than done sometimes, especially in Astral Chain. But works out pretty well anyway. Performed, my friend. You felt it too, right? The sheer thrill of battle. That's a cool effect. Unfortunately, his name is just Kyle. That's a bummer. <laughs> That's kind of. There. Are... I'm sorry if your name is Kyle and you're watching this. But that is not a climactic, cool name for this situation. <laughs> it's a great day to make new acquaintances. My horoscope's never wrong. It even said my lucky color's blue today. Huh. What's with this guy? My, my scanner says he's human, but I'm not convinced. I mean, he's fighting more than evenly with somebody who is not only trained with all of these weapons, but also has uh, a big, very powerful dog attacking him. He's doing better than most Chimera opponents we've had, and certainly better than any other humans, although the Hermits that we fought directly preceding him, they were tough. They weren't super formidable, but they were tough. They were tough enough to take a beating. Uh, and also importantly, what we noted, what we learned before uh, the fight started, is that they can not only go toe to toe with uh, with chimeras, they can see them, which is highly unusual. Oh no, this is not what I wanted. I wasted a lot of that stun time. What's wrong? And Kyle is kind of evasive. Uh, he doesn't evade the legions that well, but your attacks? He can... He seems to have some invincibility even while standing sometimes. That's just how Kyle do. Oh, shit. Oh, we actually did get the eye frames in time to dodge the uh, slam. Cool. Oh, he's cool. Like, this is not the most incredible incredible, most spectacular, most climactic fight, but it's a pretty solid one, to be honest. And we chained him midair! Oh shit, and he still came down in the middle of the attack animation. The mouth movements that the hologram on the mask does, are, that's my favorite part by far. I've had enough fun to say you held up your end of the deal. Well then, I'm a man of my word. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. 
But what are we standing around down here for? We're friends now, after all. Come on, follow me. Uh, are we sure this isn't another trap? Are you coming or what? And don't blame me if you get lost down here. Not like you know your way around. Uh, we better stay sharp. Who knows what kind of stuff he might pull. Now, now, that's no way to talk about a friend. You could hurt somebody's feelings that way. Here it is. Our lovely home. Don't be shy. Make yourselves at home. So, there was something you wanted to ask me. Drugs, huh? Yeah, you get right to the point, don't you? Oh, well, a promise is a promise. It's called Blue Evolve. Take enough of it. Makes you strong enough to kick a chimera's ass. Yeah, we know about chimeras. Blue Evolve even lets us see them. You saw for yourselves downstairs. Unfortunately, we can't take all the credit for Blue Evolve. We just get it delivered. Yeah, by a thin man. You really did your homework, huh? His name is Douglas. He doesn't offer much more than that, and we don't ask. So if you need specifics, ask him yourself. But there's one little problem. Nobody has any idea where he is. That's bad for you, bad for us, and horrible for the human race. But you know what? You seem like a good detective. If you found your way in here, tracking Douglas down should be a piece of cake for you. The only trace of him we found is that case over there. Take it if you think you can use it. We'll keep looking, but for now, the only trace of Douglas I can give you is that case. Anything else is up to you guys. This is just a dead sec hideout. All right, looks like our best chance is to find this Douglas. Let's start by getting out of here. We'll begin investigating once we're outside. So we can give uh the Kyle, he doesn't seem like bastard. a bad guy really, but something feels different. Uh, oh, uh nothing. Just never. Mind. Come on, let's find Douglas. Anyway, we are going to use the scent of the case to track Douglas with the Beast Legion and round out the chapter next time. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, share the video, ring the bell. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.